Well, hi folks, it's Aidan Martin here again. As you know, I'm always on the lookout for interesting issues to report on. And I thought that finding a whole bunch of viruses on what I thought was a nice clean machine deserves a short report. For this test, we're going to look at uh, Microsoft's very own Window Defender, LavaSoft AdAware, SpyBot, Cyber Defender, and WebRoot's Spy Sweeper programs. I will then show you the results of two scans one from Trend Micro's PC Cillin and one from Kaspersky's, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, Kaspersky's Antivirus Solutions. So here's the scan results for Windows Defender. Now notice it hasn't picked up a lot, but what it has found is quite important to the, the Trojan in particular. So well, let's just move on to uh, the free version of AdAware. Now notice. <laughs> Notice how it labels these innocuous cookies as a critical object. Wow, that's frightening. Spooky, even. I would have been a lot happier if it had weeded out the Trojan. So, obviously, this uh, free version of AdAware is not to be relied upon. Now, if we look at SpyBot's results, let's have a little look. Okay, we've got one cookie, some info on a rival program, Cyber Defender. Um, desktop snooper, that's a good catch. A couple more cookies on oh, Red Street, well, that's a program I use. Uh, stat counters is no big deal, and Zedo is an advertising company. Now, this is Cyber Defender. This has rave reviews from CNET and other very important people, you know what I mean? So, I better be a bit careful. <laughs> yeah, right. At least it has found the desktop snooper. Let's see a few unimportant cookies. Now I'm trying to see where the Trojan is. Mm, nope. Well, sorry, Cyber Defender, you just missed that one. So there you go. Now the designated high risk Flash Get is one of the best downloading programs I've ever used. And uh, the free version is sponsored by advertisements, so that's hardly high risk stuff. Okay, so if we move on to the all singing and all dancing spy sweeper, um, if you want this to clean up your PC, there is no free option. It all, all it does is scan, so you have to pay for this. Okay, it's got two CWS items, that's good. A dialer, that's good. And a toolbar installer, well, that's also good. And the rest are just cookies, but there's still, there's no Trojan here. Now, let's have a look at Trend Micro's PC Cillin. Let's see how good this is at uh, being a swiss sleuth. Six cookies and a Trojan. But here's the thing, it's a different Trojan to the one picked up by Microsoft's uh, Windows Defender. Now, finally, I decided to test the this highly acclaimed Kaspersky's uh, antivirus program. And I thought I'd go with the online scan. As you can see, it went through my PC with a fine tooth comb. The scan actually took over five hours, but you can see how many infections it caught. Some of them were hiding in zip files, which I hadn't unpacked. It's a tip here, don't do the online scan if you have a lot of files on your computer. It'll take forever. Now, it only reports on issues, okay? It does not fix them. For that, you'll have to download the trial version, okay? Now I downloaded and installed the 30-day the trial version of the Kaspersky Internet Security 6. And to be honest with you, this has to be my, my uh, antivirus and firewall of choice. I am definitely going to buy the full version. And a little sidebar on this, if you've ever used PC selling, it takes up just about all your system's resources. If you're doing a scan, that's it. You can't do anything else. With Kaspersky, it's doing a much better job, and you hardly know it's running. So it's that is a huge benefit to me. You know, at least I haven't got my hard drive whining in the background all the time. Okay, well this is the final total. Um, I know it shows only halfway through the scan, just about. But I'm not going to let you sit through five hours of a, a full computer scan. You'd go mad. Um, but this was the final total. There was 23 viruses found, 125 infected objects, and one suspicious object. Okay, just to let you know, all the programs were run under exactly the same test conditions. 
and looking at this uh, Windows Defender is the only program that I would lend any credence to whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is to have the full version of uh, Kaspersky running with Windows Defender as a check. The rest of them I just couldn't be bothered with. Okay folks, now I would suggest you install a 30 day trial of uh, Kaspersky's internet security just to see what infections you have lurking around. Now the link is directly below this video. Now once you're on the page, you look for the link at the top right of the page where it says Trials. Okay, and you will have access to a fully working program which is free for 30 days. You know, at least you can get any problem sorted out even if you don't decide to, to carry on with it. Well, that's it for now, folks. Oh yeah, if you think, let me know what your scan results are and how you get on with uh, Kaspersky if you give it a try. This is Dave Martin saying bye for now. Bye-bye.